This is a visualization of anomalous traffic sent to a.rootservers.net on November 30th, 2015. VeriSign also operates j.rootservers.net, which received the same type of anomalous traffic. In the window here, you see a large square on the left side subdivided into smaller squares. This is a Hilbert curve representation of the IPv4 address space. The Hilbert curve is a fractal space filling curve and is a very convenient way to visualize IP address space as first popularized by the XKCD comic. It has the nice property of preserving adjacency at any scale. Here the labels in each small square show the number of the first IPv4 octet, and if you follow them in order, you get the path of the Hilbert curve. Soon I'll start the data replay, and you'll see some colored dots appear. Each dot represents 1 16, and the color of the dot indicates how many queries were received with a source address in that slash 16. Blue is low count values starting at just one and red is high counts. The counts are stored as 8-bit values so red is 255 or greater. This visualization is often referred to as an IP address heat map. Here we go. So almost instantly we see blue dots filling the left side of the map. This is the first half of the IPv4 address space. Note there are some empty spots. 0 slash 8 10 slash 8, and 127 slash 8. These are all special or reserved address blocks. It seems likely that the attacker is generating queries with these source addresses. However, these reserved address blocks are filtered out before reaching our servers. The 128 net block stands out as interesting. It is the only slash 8 in the right half of the map to receive significant traffic. My guess is that this is a less than equals versus less than error on the part of the programmer. I'll resume the playback now and keep your eye on the 2 net block here. Now you see a lot of activity happening in this area. It is quickly being filled with red, indicating at least 255 queries per slash 16. But what's particularly notable is that we're seeing these source addresses essentially in order. It may look sort of wandering and random, but this is the nature of the Hilbert curve. The spoofed sources are being generated more or less sequentially. The playback is paused, and note here how we have three distinct colorings on the map. Red for the area of high activity, lots of green for moderate activity, and blue for low activity. It would seem there may be a number of different processes, or at least different algorithms, responsible for generating the spoofed source addresses. I'm going to manually reduce the counts now so that we aren't overwhelmed with a full screen of red. And I'm also going to zoom in on the upper left corner. Now you can clearly see that there are two things, let's call them attack fronts, generating these high rate queries. One seems to be working at about twice the speed of the other. The playback is paused here because the first front is about to hit the 10 slash 8 space. I'll manually reduce the counts again and, and replay it. Note that when it enters, we don't see any traffic until it is done with 10 and starts hitting 11 next. This looks like the attacker is generating queries with 10 net addresses, but they are filtered out before reaching our servers. As I reduce the counts again, you can see the same thing happen with the trailing front. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and reduce the counts again, and watch what happens when the first front enters the 19 net block. You can see that it stopped there and restarted over again at 2. Interestingly, this cycle repeats over and over again throughout the duration of the event.
So to summarize, here is how we characterize the traffic for this event. Source addresses are clearly spoofed. Spoofed sources are widely and non-sequentially distributed throughout the first half of the address space at relatively low to moderate levels. Multiple high-rate traffic sources send spoofed packets sequentially, repeatedly looping from the 2 slash 8 to 19 slash 8 net blocks. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.